In some municipalities, reconciliation is an abstract concept, not so in Haida Gwaii. Today we're in Port Clements, where an industrial community is learning to change with the times. Jalen Edenshaw was the lead carver of a legacy poll celebrating one of the first agreements with the Canadian government. This is going to be part of a transformation mask, but this bird's going to be on the outside and it'll open up into this guy. In the years since, there's been plenty of new protocols and frameworks, but he says one of the biggest changes came from the mayor of Port Clements in 2004 in a lawsuit that enshrined the need for government to meaningfully consult on resource issues. Sort of ag agreed with us saying, you know, hi to control of the forests would be better than, than uh, crown control. And that's coming from like a, a logging community. You know, I think it's a good step. Municipalities and band councils have separate land and jurisdiction, but have protocols in place. Port Clements once prioritized logging above all else. Now it prioritizes its agreements with the Haida. It's been good as a working relationship to get on to a more formal reconciliation agreement. Doggart's town is working on a joint tech strategy with the Haida. Masset and Old Masset share a water and sewage agreement. Haida names have been added to bridges and schools. It's moving more and more, but again, it, this is just the beginning. It's just that we're figuring this relationship and really what it entails. Queen Charlotte's mayor was adopted into the Haida and says even with the head start on the rest of BC, they have a long way to go. But we are just at the beginning stage. Like this is literally 15 years is nothing. Reconciliation doesn't mean everyone agrees all the time. It's got its challenges of just understanding and I think it boils down to actually a Haida term, which I can't pronounce properly, but it means respect. There's an irony in those comments. But what's indisputable are the partnerships, big and small, that are a direct result of the years of work put into reconciliation. What's your take at? 32. Uh, 31.50. You know, the Haida Nations worked really hard over the last couple decades on building some of these relationships, and we're just starting to see it alive out on the grounds now. The Haida are in the midst of a project culling the sea urchin population, which flourished after sea otters were nearly hunted to extinction. That caused harm to kelp, vital to aquatic biodiversity. Now, in a partnership with Parks Canada, they're working to reverse centuries of damage. So it's just this big um, collaboration between uh, people that may not see eye to eye all the time, but people that are working together towards a common goal. And to me, that's one of the main parts of this project is trying to uh, work together and build trust. There were no sea urchins to be found on this particular dive, but sometimes the outcome on any one day is less important than the long-term process. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Haida Gwaii.